What would you do if someone sent you an email and the email had your real password? It may have been a password you used a few years ago, but it's still your password. You wonder how someone could have got hold of your password, but then you notice the email also has a threat in it. The email goes on to say that you had visited a porn website which had malware on it, and through that malware, this person was able to get remote desktop access to your computer, and they had installed a keylogger and had access to your display screen and webcam. The email also says that this person has gathered all your contacts from Messenger, Facebook and email. Whoever this is is demanding a payment of thousands of dollars to keep this a secret. And they're demanding payment via Bitcoin to make sure the transaction is completely anonymous. The problem is that people really are getting these emails at the moment and it's an ever more popular scam. Critical alert from Michael I have heard from lots of people, particularly over the last six months, that they have received these blackmail emails. They're always of a similar format. Somewhere in this email will be your real password and that will begin to make you think that perhaps these people do really have information about you. Some will just ask for money, others will ask you to perform for them in front of a webcam. So how exactly do these blackmailers or sextortionists get your password in the first place? Where does it come from? The answer is, it's a data breach. And this representation on screen, taken from Information is Beautiful and there's a link below, shows which organisations have been compromised in some shape or form in the last 10 years. Each of the circles represents just how much data has been breached. And it's not always because the system has been hacked. Sometimes this is an inside job. Sometimes somebody's just left information or a device out in the open. But other times it's just a lack of security or even somebody has misconfigured a web server. Potentially leaving all of your sensitive information in the open. So potentially your email address and its associated password has been breached in one of these databases. And now your personal details can be bought and sold freely on the dark web. So how are you going to know if your email address and password is available to scammers? Well, there's a website called haveibeenpwned.com and this is owned by a guy called Troy Hunt and I've left a link to this in the description. Here you can type your email address, hit pwned and see if your email address has indeed been breached. Whether it has or not, the advice on better security is always worth taking. The advice that it gives is to have a different password per website, something that's not always easy, and to enable two-factor authentication, but more on this in a second. The website also gives a lot of information on recent data breaches, and if you use one of these websites, you're best to heed the advice on having a different password per website. At the bottom of the page, it gives the details about where your email address and password were found. And if you do find your email address in there, you're in good company. At present, there are 5.6 billion email address and password combinations already leaked. And unfortunately, this is a sign of things to come. Even if you've never received an email like the one I showed at the start of the video, you're almost bound to get one in the near future. And this is because breaches are sadly inevitable. And it's not just the small companies. Most of the huge data breaches are from very well known companies like Yahoo or in this case, LinkedIn. I personally know two people who have had the threatening email with their LinkedIn password. They at least were able to identify the source of the leak. So if data breaches are inevitable, what can you as an individual do to minimize the impact of these breaches? The first very obvious way is to have a different password on each website. And that will mean you only need to change the password just once on the site which has been breached. But of course, we've all heard the recommendations on what to use as a password. It has to be private, secret, easily remembered, at least eight characters, a mixture of upper and lowercase with digits and symbols, not using a dictionary, not guessable, and so on. And of course, you've got to do this for multiple websites. Personally, I have at least 50 passwords, and I'm not going to remember all of these 
particularly if they have to be in the right format so that they're not easily crackable. So how do you go about solving the problem of having a secure password memorable and different for every website you use? The answer is a password manager. A password manager is a bit of software which ideally runs on all the devices you use and will generate secure and unique passwords for every website. So instead of having to remember multiple strong passwords, you only have to remember just one. And the password manager that I use is called Dashlane. And to be totally transparent, Dashlane are sponsoring this video, but I'm happy to endorse something I use on a daily basis. And the reason I use it a lot is not only will it generate and automatically fill these passwords into relevant websites, but it will also check if your username and password appears anywhere on the dark web, and it even includes a VPN feature which is available in the premium version. And you can try out Dashlane yourself by going to dashlane.com slash jimbrowning, and it's in the description, and use the code jimbrowning at the checkout for a 10% discount on the premium version. So what should you do if you get one of these extortion emails? First of all, don't panic. Now that you know that the passwords have probably come from a data breach and has nothing to do with any webcam or keylogger access, you'll know your private data is probably safe. However, you should just do a virus scan just in case. The one which is built into Windows 10, Windows Defender, is more than adequate for detecting if anything nasty is installed on your computer. Next, you should tape over your webcam when it's not in use. You can even buy products which will look a little bit less unsightly than duct tape over your webcam, but it is something that you should do. Next, if you ever do get an email like this, never ever pay. Even if the cyber criminal did have something on you, there's no guarantee that making a payment would have any difference. You should also reset the password if you recognize the website that it came from, or if you've used it multiple times, make sure you do that on every website where it's been used. Lastly, turn on two-factor authentication wherever you possibly can. Two-factor is simply a way that you can verify a login or a transaction on your mobile device. With this, even if your password did leak on the dark web, you need to verify the transaction or login. Lastly, do consider updating your passwords. It's a real pain, but something like Dashlane makes the process a lot easier. It will help you identify which passwords are weak, and please consider changing these. And remember, you can try out Dashlane yourself using dashlane.com slash jimbrowning. It's free for 30 days. And if you decide you'd like the premium version, remember to use the code jimbrowning for that 10% discount at the checkout. So if you ever do get one of these emails in the future, at least you'll know what to do and what not to do. Thank you again to all my supporters on Patreon and to Dashlane for supporting this particular video. Check out my Twitter feed at jimbrowning11 and once again, thanks for watching.